Hi, this is Mike, and in this demo, I'm going to look at the memory tab group for Java Flight Recorder. So what I have pulled up here, I have Mission Control pulled up with, um, you know, I just have the general overview tab open here, but I've already opened the flight recording. So we're going to just go ahead and dive in. So I'm going to click on the memory tab group. And the first tab I see is, of course, the overview tab. We'll go through the other tabs uh, in order. Uh, basically here, this is a pretty much a very summary oriented um, tab, but just shows the physical memory and heat memory used during the recording. And you can see here, during this recording, it was very flat. We have some uh, configuration data and as well some statistics about garbage collections that happened during the recording. So pretty straightforward information there. The um, garbage collections tab shows all the information about garbage collections that occurred during um, the recording. So you can see here the main feature is we've got a graph of um, our heap over time and then uh, that's if we look on the left side that's memory we have that on the left side of the chart and then the right side of the chart we have pause times and so that's represented by these red lines and the red lines these tall ones here show um, major garbage collections or, or full garbage collections and the um, Minor garbage collections are very, are very short little red lines here you'll see at the bottom. Um, all this stuff is configurable, so once again, if you want to hide a part of the graph, you can just by clicking uh, the check boxes. This table here on the left shows the number of garbage collections, so I can sort garbage collections by ID and see what happened, or I can sort by uh, length, so I can see what was the longest garbage collection. So if I click on one, I can look at the details for that garbage collection. I can see that this was a major garbage collection on old generation. I can see what phases and how long they took. I can look at uh, reference objects, um, heap data, and then permanent generation data as well. So a lot of detailed information there, uh, all available, sortable, uh, very cool stuff. In addition, we have some sub tabs up here. So for example, we have a graph like this showing the kinds of references that were collected and uh, used during the recording. So this is just showing a number of weak, soft, final, and phantom references used throughout the recording. So anyway, so that's the garbage collections tab. The GC times tab is just a, uh, sh focuses mainly on just garbage collection with uh, garbage collection data. So our graph here, or our chart, shows us the pause times once again. So we can see old generation and then young generation collections. We can see the number of collections there were, their average times for both young and old. And then once again, we have a table here showing us um, some of the pause of related information uh, for our garbage collections. The next tab is the GC configuration tab. And this shows detailed information about the configuration. I can see what garbage collectors were used. In this case, I'm using serial for both young and old. Um, how many threads, uh, memory, all that sort of fun stuff. The next tab is the allocations tab. And this shows information about um, memory allocations as they were made throughout the recording. So I can get detailed information about um, Thread local access buffers. Um, you can see here where objects were allocated both in and out of thread local access buffers. If I click on these sub tabs up here, allocation in new th thread allocation buffer, I can see here that I can look at that data to see what's allocated by class by th or by thread. And if I click on one of the classes here, I, I click on char here, I can see which, you know, where the most of those objects were getting allocated and what part of the code. Because we're showing the various methods here that um, allocated those kinds of objects. Okay, and finally, one of the more interesting tabs here is the um, object statistics tab. And this one can be good if you're looking for a memory leak because it'll show you, has this nice little um, 
shows which which um, classes are taking up the most memory. But it also has this nice table here at the bottom showing the top growers for a particular session here. So in this case, during our recording, Java Util that tree maps grew the most. And in this case, it grew 194.65 kilobytes. That's not super huge. But you can see how um, that could be very useful in a recording to see which um, classes are taking up the most space or growing the most during your recording. So that's it for the uh, memory tab group for Java Flight Recorder.